In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make your first swap on base. Base is Coinbase's new layer two, and it's been gaining a ton of traction recently. In this video, we'll be using Base Swap, which is currently the largest decentralized exchange. So I'll show you how to make a swap, and then I'll also show you how to deposit liquidity into a farm on base to earn rewards. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. My name is Patrick. Nothing I say in this video is financial advice. You should still do your own research, of which I have many videos about how to do. Now, let's get into it. All right, so before you start any of this, you'll need to have base added to your wallet, which could be a Coinbase wallet, could be a MetaMask wallet. I'm gonna use MetaMask, and you'll need to have some ETH or Ethereum in your base wallet. If you don't know how to do that, then I have another video that I'll link in the description that shows you start to finish how to get ETH onto the base network. But assuming you've already done that, then go to the website for BaseSwap, BaseSwap.fi. There are other exchanges on Base Network, but this is currently the largest by far. And then what you're gonna do here is you're gonna connect your wallet. And if you've never used any sort of decentralized application before, generally speaking, you log into them by connecting your wallet and think of this kind of as a universal login like Google, like Facebook, like Apple. However, because these are decentralized applications, you have to connect it to a compatible wallet that you're holding cryptocurrency in. All right, so let's connect our wallet. Click on connect wallet and it will bring up several options. I'll choose MetaMask because that's the wallet I'm using for this demonstration. And then you choose which wallet you wanna connect. I'm gonna use this one here. Confirm by clicking connect. And there you go, you can know that you're connected because it now shows the wallet address in the top right. Looking here, you can see that there's about $55 million deposited in BaseSwap. Like I said, it's currently the largest exchange on Base Network. And you have a few options at the top, swap, liquidity, farm, earn, bridge, and NFT. To start, we're gonna use swap. And this is really the core of what you're gonna do on BaseSwap if you're looking to make a simple swap, for example, changing ETH to USDC or changing ETH to some sort of other coin that you want to buy. If you click on the thing that says BSwap by default here at the bottom, then you'll be given the options of a bunch of coins that are on BaseSwap. And if the coin that you wanna buy isn't here, then you need to find its contract address and paste that up here in the bar and it will bring the coin in. But these are the ones that it has by default. And you can see, for example, there's CB ETH, which is Coinbase wrapped staked ETH. There's some stable coins. For this demonstration, I'm just gonna use USDC stable coin, and I'm gonna swap a little bit of ETH for a stable coin, but this process would be similar for any coin. I'll choose 0 0.0001, so about $2, again, just for demonstration, and then you can see the conversion rate over here. You can see the minimum received, so that's important to check because if you're buying a lot of a small coin, then it's possible that you buying it would actually affect the price, so you might receive less than you think, uh, you can also see the price impact here, which is of course minimal since I'm swapping a very small amount and it's for a coin with a lot of liquidity. So all looks good. I'm gonna click on swap. You see some more information again highlighted and you just have to confirm it. And then it's gonna bring up your wallet here to confirm the transaction. This thing that here that shows you the gas fee is the fee that you have to pay to the network, in this case base, in order to make the transaction. So this transaction is 40 cents. And the thing that's important to note is that 40 cents is a lot for $1.79, but if you but that uh, fee will be consistent no matter how much you're swapping. So if you were swapping $2,000, it would still be 40 cents. That's not a percentage, that's just a flat fee that you pay to the network based on what action you're taking on the chain and how complex that action is. All right, so now I'm gonna click on confirm. It may take a few seconds to confirm, fret not. You can see that it's pending here. And then look, there now it's confirmed. And if I go to my wallet, then look, you can see that my balance here is $78.594. Swap was a success. And the next thing that we'll do is we're gonna deposit liquidity into a farm on base swap. And some of you might be interested in that because you can earn very high rewards right now. And I know what some of you are thinking, how are these rewards possible? APR, 582%, APR, 29.9%, APR, 92%, right? That's, that's too good to be true. And the answer is that it's because this B-Swap token is highly inflationary. And so a lot of DeFi projects, if you're totally new to DeFi, in order to bootstrap liquidity, to get people depositing things in the platform, they've got to pay them because 
they're taking on a lot of risk by depositing it into a new platform. And the way that they do that is when they're distributing their token for the first time, this is a relatively new project, they give it out to people who deposited liquidity. So people who are power users, or maybe even you decide, okay, I'm willing to take that risk. You know, I know that it's risky to deposit into this platform. However, for 92% APR for 30% APR, I'm willing to take that risk. And the reason that this B-Swap one is so outrageously high, why is it 600%? It's because it's so inflationary. And they need to have this rate, this B-Swap ETH rate, to be way higher than all these other rates because when people deposit into these other pools, they're going to get B-Swap rewards. And if you deposited ETH USDC, you might not want to hold B-Swap, right? You, you might want, you want to hold ETH. That's why you're in the ETH USDC pool. However, if they then offer you 580 percent you might say okay well i already earned this b swap i'm going to hold on to it and earn this 600 percent and you never know what's going to happen and this pool is definitely risky again it's super inflationary but for the the uh example in this video we are going to deposit into the b swap eth pool and before we get started one other thing that you need to know is that all of these pools are going to be 50 50 each of these assets so in this case b swap eth it doesn't mean you have one B-Swap for one ETH. It means that the value you deposit has to be equivalent for both. So if you deposit if you deposit $100, then that will be $50 of B-Swap, $50 of ETH. And BaseSwap has a feature where you can deposit either asset. So you might deposit only ETH, but then BaseSwap is going to convert that into half ETH, half B-Swap, and that's your holdings. So when you withdraw, no matter what the prices are, how it's changed, it's always going to be 50-50 B-Swap ETH. So let's deposit some liquidity before you deposit in the farm. First, you have to deposit liquidity. We're gonna click on add liquidity. We've got ETH, we've got B-Swap. Click on add liquidity, and we're gonna do 0.01. And you can see here a little disclaimer, some of your ETH will be converted to B-Swap, so don't be surprised if you have both. We're gonna click on supply. It'll give us some more details about what's gonna happen with the conversion. We click on confirm supply, and we pay the gas fee to confirm it and this should just take a second this might take a little longer than the swap because it's a more complex transaction but that's okay and then in just a second we will receive our lp tokens all right so the transaction is done we have our lp tokens and then click on farm up here at the top you click on the farm you want to deposit in and you see that now you have to enable the farm we're going to click on enable this is giving it permission to use your B-Swap LP. I usually just click on Max and then click on Next. Approve. And once the transaction goes through, again, it's a lot of transactions. Crypto UI is still a uh, work in progress, but it's getting better every year. Once, once this is approved, we'll be able to actually deposit the LPs. And now this button changes to Stake LP. That means we've got an LP. We've enabled it. Let's click on Stake LP. We can see the balance of our LP tokens. Again, I'm going to do max. This is choosing how much you want to deposit. And this annual ROI, I would ignore that. You know, you're not going to earn, no offense, I don't want to crush anyone's dreams, you're not going to earn 600% all year. Either the token price is going to drop or the APR is going to drop. If it does hold up, fantastic, because I'm depositing a little bit here, but 99.9% .9 of the time, this isn't going to hold up. But it's fun to think about just you know don't let it affect your decisions too much i click on confirm this confirms and as soon as this is done then we're going to start earning yield from this farm there we go and now we have some things deposited in the farm and our b swap is going to start stacking up and then as it stacks up you can click here and harvest it and then you can either compound it you can trade it for something else you can sell it do whatever you want with it once it's done. One thing I'll note here, because this might happen to some of you, is that this user interface here did not update. So I took this test wallet and I went over to DBank, which is a website for tracking your wallet. And I put in this burner wallet and then confirmed here, yes, indeed, it did deposit. Those funds are in that base swap pool and they are earning rewards. So if this UI doesn't update right away, maybe it's a little buggy, but give it time and it should update. That's all I got for today. If you want more tutorials like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.